Hey what's up guys it's time to review another smartwatch and this one is from Halu Solar so this one is LS05 model number and uh, let's go through the packaging and the specifications quickly and then we can get into the review this is the box that this uh, watch comes in and let's open it up it's a very straightforward simple packaging here so there you go that's how it comes and inside the box what you get is this charging cable and it attaches to the watch quite easily so there you go and then you can plug it in and it starts charging really simple and easy let's talk about some of the specifications and on the box we can see some of these specifications so uh, we have a 340 milliamp hour battery inside and then we have ip68 rating which is good enough working temperature is minus 20 to minus 45 degrees and then we have got bluetooth 5 as well now if we talk about the display on this watch we have 1.28 inches TFT touch display which is good enough it's not as sharp uh, and it is not as bright but it does the job perfectly for the price point of this watch and then the resolution of this display is 240 by 240 pixels so that's all right as well if we talk about the straps these are standard 22 millimeter straps so you can easily change them out and customize the watch as well now if we talk about the watch itself the casing is all metal so it gives it a very high quality feel and uh, you know very good weight on the wrist as well you don't feel like you're wearing a cheap fitness tracker or something like that it gives you a proper smartwatch feel on the wrist we have a circular design so this is a round shape it has a very clean easy look it's easy on the eyes and i like it in this form factor we have one side button here which has only one job and that is to go back to the home screen so if we are anywhere on the watch in the software you just press this button and it takes you back to the home screen and if you press it again it turns off the display so that's all it does now as i've already told you that the battery capacity is 340 milliamp hour according to the company uh, figures it should last you for 30 days and if you turn on the continuous heart rate tracking then it should last you for 15 days but in my usage with continuous heart rate tracking turned on uh, it lasted me for around 8 to 10 days which is all right and i usually work out every day and also wear it at night to track my sleep so uh, you know you can also factor in these things and then there are always notifications coming on because i turned on all the notifications from all the apps available in the halo fit app on the phone so you know it was doing a lot of stuff so that allowed it to last for around 8 to 10 days now let's talk about the software and navigation of this phone which is very easy there is not much of a learning curve here and you can understand it in minutes so if you swipe down from the home screen watch face you will get to some quick uh, actions so you have uh, find my phone here brightness control settings and then do not disturb here swiping left to right from the watch face takes you to these widgets or you know shortcuts you can call them and here we actually have these fixed widgets so you cannot customize them or add or remove them so basically what you have here is your daily activity widget here and then your heart rate widget your sleep tracking widget weather and then breathing breathing exercise and then back to the watch face if you swipe up from the watch face it takes you to the apps so in the apps we have our stats uh, heart rate sports weather sleep notice so notice is basically notifications so all your notifications will be here you have your music controls here we have more here so if we go in here we can get some extra features like stopwatch countdown find phone and uh, breathing exercises and then back to settings and then if you long press on the watch face it actually allows you to change the watch face and we have a few options here so let's go through all of them so it covers the basics we have uh, at least four or five watch faces here uh, to cater to your needs moving on let's talk about some of the fitness features that this watch offers and i have to say that it covers all the basics really well it is ip68 rated so you can use it in water as well you can take shower maybe swim as well and then uh, if we and then if we go up uh, you have your heart rate monitoring here uh, which is doing real time heart rate monitoring right now and if we go back we can go through some sports modes so there are 12 sports modes that it can track so we have jogging fast walking biking climbing spinning yoga indoor running integrated training gymnastics basketball football and then rowing now if you're talking about the app here you can also see your sleep records you can also go ahead and start your activity tracking here as well and if we go in devices we have some options here so you can change the heart rate monitoring you can turn on 
uh, you know 24 hour heart rate monitoring or you can turn it off and then manually check your heart rate but if you turn this option on it will eat into your battery life a lot then we have call reminders you can turn these things on these are for the notifications we have app reminders if you go in here you can actually select uh, you know apps separately which apps you want to receive notifications from and which apps you want to you know just ignore and then you can add more apps from here then we have sedentary reminders here so in sedentary reminders if you turn this feature on and you are not uh, active throughout the day your watch will actually prompt you that you are not active enough so just you know walk around and do some stuff be active so this is also a good feature if you have a sedentary lifestyle you can turn this feature on then we have alarm clock raise hand to activate display so you can turn this feature on so every time you want to look at the time you will raise your arm and the display will turn on then we have do not disturb universal settings where you can turn on sms reminder on screen time so we have three options here 5 seconds 10 seconds 15 seconds now in the end i have to say that for the price point which is 35 36 us dollars this is actually a very decent package it covers all the basics really well give you all the fitness features that are you know required all the basic ones at least and then you have got some extra features like you know timer and uh, you know stopwatch and stuff like that you've got weather you've got widgets here you've got heart rate tracker and then you have got sedentary lifestyle notifications so a lot of good things going for this watch also this circular form factor makes it a very decent looking watch so that's good then of course another great point is the battery life of this watch it will last you for days and weeks if you are not using it to its maximum potential but even if you use it with its maximum potential turning on all the features and getting notifications all the time it will last you more than a week which is great so you don't have to charge it every other day or every day but there are still few things that i think could have been better we have very limited number of watch faces and then display brightness could be better for outdoor viewing uh, which is essential if you're running outdoors and work out outdoors during a sunny day it might get difficult to view this watch and the you know information on the watch face and the display resolution could be better going you know in the future so these are the few things, uh, pros and cons of Halo Solar LS05 smartwatch. At the end of the day, you do have to remember the price point of this watch. For this price, it is giving you a lot of things. It has great form factor, looks great, nice, clean. It covers all the fitness basics uh, in this price point, which makes it a very good package. Now that's about it from this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it was informative for you in your buying decision. Now I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this watch? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What are the features do you want in the future and stuff like that uh, just go crazy in the comments and do like this video if it has helped you in your buying decision and subscribe to the channel i will really appreciate that and i will see you in the next one till then take care Bye bye